Have you had nothing to do lately? Running out of things to watch on Netflix? Got nothing to do? And maybe you're just plain bored. I think boredom is a feeling that we're growing increasingly familiar with these days. And for some of us, or maybe many of us, it's actually something that we're starting to struggle with. But I think instead of struggling, we can look at boredom differently as a form of God's providence and blessing. So turn with me to Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 to 30, and take a moment to read it, and I'll see you inside. Boredom is often something that we try to avoid, right? We watch all kinds of shows, we watch all kinds of YouTube videos, we get into all kinds of things, we bake all kinds of banana breads or, or, or anything that we can in our ovens to try and avoid the feeling of boredom. But I, I think the Bible offers us a better way of understanding our boredom, where we can turn our boredom into blessing. And in order to start to try to kind of build that framework for understanding our boredom as blessing, I think it's helpful for us to start here in Matthew chapter 6 by thinking about anxiety and worry. Because you see, boredom is actually a sinful opposite of anxiety and worry. So anxiety and worry is characterized by what? It's, it's characterized by a feeling of lack, right? A, a fear that I do not have enough of something in order to provide for myself and or for the people that I care about, right? Maybe I'm lacking in social resources or financial resources or emotional resources, right? There's this fear and feeling that I am not safe because I do not have enough of whatever it is that I'm going to need or that I do need in order to keep myself and my loved ones safe. And so when we think about anxiety and worry, we often think that the opposite of anxiety and worry is peace and contentment, which is absolutely true. But you see, boredom is actually just peace and contentment without faith. You see, when we look at our passage today in Matthew chapter 6, uh, Jesus tells us not to be anxious. Why shouldn't we be anxious? Because God is going to provide for us. He's going to provide the food that we need. He's going to provide the clothes that we need. He's going to meet all of our needs. And it's something that we hear all the time growing up in churches, right? Uh, if you've been in any church for an, uh, a decent period of time, you've heard people say that God will give you what you need, maybe not everything that you want, but God will definitely provide for you all that we need. And you see, boredom is just that feeling of peace and contentment. God has provided everything that I have needed without God. You see, boredom leads us to forget that God has already provided all that we have needed. When you and I experience the feeling of boredom, what we are experiencing is the wonderful, abundant providence of God. I mean, isn't it such a blessing that God has so provided for our every need that we have nothing to do, that we don't even know what to do with ourselves, that we are so used to trying to work out our safety, just like Adam from the garden, that we're so used to trying to work out our own lives, that when we find ourselves in a situation where we are completely safe and everything that we need has been provided for, we don't know what to do with ourselves. And so friends, as, as we kind of continue through this season of quarantine and we continue through this season of trying to figure out ways to avoid our boredom, let me encourage and invite you from time to time to lean into your boredom with faith. And in that boredom, to be filled with gratitude. Friends, don't we have such a good and gracious and wonderful God that he has provided for our need so fully and so abundantly and so completely that we have absolutely nothing to do? And maybe a large part of why boredom is so difficult for us is because we find Sabbath rest so difficult because we are so used to working for our own joy and working for, uh, to provide for our own needs, working to provide for our own desires or for our own dreams that we don't know what to do when God has done all of it for us. So in this season, let me encourage and invite you to take a moment to think and reflect on what is it that God has done for you? That in your boredom, what is it that God has provided for you that gives you the luxury 
of being bored. And as we think about that, let's allow our boredom to be transformed by faith into gratitude, contentment, peace, and godly rest. So at the end of this video, there's a couple of questions, and um, it's just my hope that these questions will help us to sort of begin to think about our boredom in a way that helps it transform uh, into a form of gratitude, okay? Hope you guys have a great day.